thought you guys were having a great day. I can't wait to see what the future holds for you. I believe you guys are a perfect couple. And Julie, I believe you'll make my dad the happiest man ever. I hope this year pleases you guys and you guys have a great day today and the next three days is just wonderful for you guys. I just want to wish you guys a happy marriage and uh, you know just have fun, have a blast. Keith, keep wearing the shirts and that's about it. So it's really how far you've come in this relationship and now on this journey. We know that marriage is a lifelong commitment. It is not to be entered into lightly, but with thoughtful and serious knowledge that this person that you stand with beside you will forever be a one true partner, your friend, and most of all companion. It's the promises you two are gonna to make to continue to grow stronger as individuals. Well, you've mastered that part of it. <laughs> this is now a marriage. And in this marriage, knowing that when challenges come about, well, you two will face these together. And when you succeed, it isn't one of you succeeding, it is the both of you making sure that this marriage is top priority over everything. So we know a good marriage has to have some type of foundation. We also know that marriage is a choice. You two chose to love one another, to be here, to be married to one another. So there has to be some type of foundation in this marriage. One of the pieces I like to speak about is trust. Trust is knowing that this person always has your best interest at heart. Trust is knowing that there's no ulterior motives in this relationship. But most of all, trust is knowing in the midst of anger, conflict, or any type of disagreement, you will always make sure to have this marriage priority over everybody and anything else. The other is love. What is love? Well, love is many things. And over time, you've learned this one. I'm sure you have. Patience. Love is unconditional. Love is not selfish. It's not envious. It doesn't anger, but it works things out. Love never fails. Neither will yours, as long as you build that foundation upon yourselves for this marriage to last forever. So I want to make sure that today is a day that you're ready to take the next steps in life, that you're ready to declare yourselves to one another, and to make sure that this is the intent that both of you are ready to be married today. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you could just answer, I do at the end. Keith, will you accept Julie as your one true love, as your wife, promising to comfort her through good times, through bad times, through sickness and in health, Cherishing her at all times and being faithful to her. I do. Perfect. And Julie, good answer, right? <laughs> Julie, will you accept Keith as your one true love, as your husband, promising to comfort him through good times, through bad times, through sickness and in health, cherishing him at all times and being faithful to him? I do. Perfect. So you have declared yourselves, but we're going to seal this marriage with some vows, and I know that you've written your own. Yes. Keith, I'm going to have you start, if you would, please. To whom it may concern, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> to Julie. You loved me when I was unlovable. You were by my side when I was lost, when I didn't show you love, and when I nearly died. You led me back to God, not only saving my life, but saving my soul. Hearing your words, I love you, are backed by years of showing me that you love me so deeply, it's impossible to measure. I pray through the help of God's strength that I can show you the type of love that Christ shows us every day and that I will strive to equal your love for me until I'm no longer on this earth. 
Julie, today you and I are one. Yes, I know. It's beautiful. Mine's like longer. Weird. Do you have more to say? Yeah, I did. Keith, from the moment I met you, I knew you were a real jerk. <laughs> <laughs> a very handsome, funny, sexy jerk, but still a jerk. But then things changed. We went from dating to friends to best friends to where we are today. As I take on the role as your wife, there are some things I promise you. I promise to love you, that my love is free and without conditions. I'll always have your back and be there for you when you need me. I promise to never touch the dishwasher or make fun of you for all the crazy things that you know. And I promise to always watch any and every James Bond movie with you. I will call you on your shit and you will not have to know or wonder where you stand with me. I'll always be your biggest cheerleader, friend, partner in crime. And in the end, it will always be my choice to support you. I will listen to you and I hope that the wisdom comes to me to know when I need to listen further and not be a bitch. 